So on those cold winter nights, well, there's nothing more that I love than a nice hot meal. How about you? And Katie Foster, the owner of Stir Cooking School, has a delicious coconut curry soup that's quick, easy, and healthy. Can't wait. Hi, my name is Katie Foster, and I'm the owner of Stir Cooking School. Today we are making a healthy and hearty meal to eat on a cold winter night, and it's going to be a red curry Thai dish with coconut milk and vegetables and roast chicken. It's gonna be super delicious. The beauty of this dish is I like to make it at home because you can kind of use up vegetables in your fridge that you might not know what else you're gonna use it for. Like I made chicken rasal the other night and we're gonna use up some extra vegetables or mushrooms that we used. So that's the best part about this dish. And it's actually really quick. Let me guys tell you about a few of the ingredients while the pot is heating up. The main ingredient that is really important for this Thai red curry is Thai red curry paste. Thai red curry paste, this brand is actually found at Asian markets, um, H Mart, Pacific Ocean, places like that. But they do have at regular grocery stores another brand that's called Thai Kitchen that is great to use too. This one is a little spicy, so kind of add it to your own kind of flavor profile what you like. All right, so in this pot, this is a cast iron, enameled cast iron. You can use a regular pot. This just kind of holds everything really well. We just have a little bit of vegetable oil heating up. It's about a tablespoon or so. We are gonna add in some ginger. The beauty of this is that the red curry paste has ginger in it. So if you don't have ginger, just omit this stuff. After we get this sauteed for a couple minutes, or for like 30 seconds or so, I'm going ahead and add in the red curry paste. Like I said earlier, if you don't like spicy, I would recommend maybe starting with like a tablespoon or so. I clearly like spicy, so that's why we are adding quite a bit, okay? We do want, see it's kind of pasty, and I'm mushing it up a little bit to get it really incorporated with this oil. It basically is allowing all of these aromatics and the flavors of it to come out. You could add more red curry paste at the end, but it slightly changes the fla its flavor profile as it cooks. You're gonna have to add some chicken stock. You could use vegetable stock, you could actually use some water if you wanted. Any of those things would work. And then I'm gonna add in our coconut milk. This is a full fat coconut milk, but you could easily use a light coconut milk. The viscosity and the texture of it just changes a little bit. All right, I am gonna put the lid on this for just a minute while it totally comes to a boil, and I'm gonna talk about the other ingredients we're gonna be using. So the other things that we we're gonna add into this, we have mushrooms that I sliced, we have roast chicken that I pulled. This is a great dish to use also for leftover roast chicken, as well as if you just wanted to buy one of the store-bought roast chickens. This is actually leftover from Shook, which is a great local place. So there you go. We all just have a sweet potato. The biggest thing is when this comes to a simmer, we're gonna to start to add them in how quickly they're going to cook. So the sweet potatoes are gonna go first, and then we're actually gonna add the chicken with it too, so it just gets really incorporated into our stew. Then towards the end, we'll add the bell pepper and the zucchini and the mushrooms because we don't want those things to overcook. So the other big ingredient in this is fish sauce. This is the Lucky brand fish sauce. There's lots of different brand fish sauces, fish sauces out there. And we're gonna add in our potatoes. Okay, we're gonna let those cook. We're also gonna add a couple good shakes of some fish sauce. We're also gonna add a little bit of brown sugar. Brown sugar is used, or like raw sugar, is used a lot in Thai cuisine because it kinda has, Thai food has that kind of sweet, sour, spicy kind of flavor profile. We're gonna add our chicken in here. We're gonna go ahead and add our mushrooms in. This seems like a lot of mushrooms, but mushrooms really brought down a lot. We're also gonna add in our bell pepper and our zucchini. And then we're gonna garnish it with some cilantro. Beautiful. What a terrific recipe. Stir Cooking School is open for in-person classes and they're hosting plenty of online classes too. So head to stirtolearn.com to sign up or subscribe and get tons of really great recipes. And to make sure to tune in in February as Katie gives us an amazing Valentine's Day brunch recipe. We'll look forward to that.